Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick video of one small utility in the Visual Studio Code. Now you can download one amazing plugin. That plugin name is Draw.io Integration. This is an uh, amazing plugin which will help you to design some SVG files, SVG vector diagrams, a lot of good drawings, and then the workflow diagrams you can create that. Is really helpful for uh, writing a documentation. You are creating some conference pages. You are teaching someone. And then you can create some amazing uh, workflow diagrams and the flowcharts also. You can create that. In fact, you can create some uh, UML diagrams also and then uh, create some Android and iOS based uh, diagrams. We can create that. Pretty simple. It's absolutely free, available on Visual Studio Code. The rank is really great. A number of reviews are really great. You can see number of installations also. So let's see how to install it. So we just need to do one thing. We just need to have the Visual Studio Code. Go to the settings section. Go to the extension here. And uh, you can just simple type draw.io integration. Enter. And the first option that you have to select, you can already see that around 1.3 million people, they have already downloaded. The ranking is five star uh, rating and uh, simple click on install. It will take few seconds to install and then that's it. After that, you can just simply close this window, go to your uh, folder structure. And now I'm going to create, let's see, under this folder, I'm going to create a new file and the file name that I'm going to create, let's see. And uh, here you need to write test.drawio. That's it. The file extension name is test.drawio. A various uh, file extension you can give that you can give dot draw uh, draw io also dot dio also or dot uh, drawio dot svg also or dot png also you can give that so for example let's see i have given this one s dot draw io and then it will open this particular window and then now you can just create your diagrams and everything here for example let's see you go to the general section and then any diagram that you want to create or any uh, vector diagram you really want to create, you can create that. For example, let's say I'm going to create one more. And uh, if you really want to integrate between these two, you can just create the arrow. You really want to create some database uh, diagrams also. That also you can do that. So for example, let's see the data is coming from here or something like this. And then there are various uh, miscellaneous diagrams also available here. Let's say you really want to present a table here that data table also you can create that and then you can just integrate with this let's see table which is coming from here and let's see this table is again connected with this particular database that also we can do it and then uh, there are various other things you can go to advanced and then advanced diagrams also available here android specific diagrams also you can create that if you really want to create let's see one keyboard that keyboard image and uh, will be there you can just minimize the size you can just shrink the size increase the size that also we can do it here in fact, uh, you can go to the more shapes and then uh, different varieties of shapes. Uh, you can just do that clip, uh, clip, clip art, arrows, basics, and then see Android, Atlassian, iOS, mockups, UML diagram. Let's see, I have selected networking based diagrams. If you really want to do that, that also you can create those drawings. So for example, let's see, I have selected this uh, UML and I simply click on apply. So you will see that UML option available here. And then you can just uh, create your uh, UML uh, blocking diagrams also. For example, let's see, this is the uh, class name. And this is now super easy. I don't need to be dependent on anything. I just simply write one employee, what exactly the field name. So let's see, I'm writing the field name is uh, name. And what is the type? The type is uh, a string type. And that's it. And I can just connect with any uh, other diagrams or other uh, you know, sketches also, I can just simple connect with that. You can just explore. There are more shapes that you can just explore it. There are uh, uh, AWS and uh, VM based shapes also, Citrix, Cisco, AWS, 3D, 19, 17, all these things are available. You can just explore and then you can create some amazing uh, documentation with the proper flowchart and the diagrams. If you really want to fill the color and everything that also they have given this option. Let's see, this color is coming with this color and this table is coming with this particular table. Those things also you can just, uh, you know, simply do it. Once the diagram is done, you can just again um, export in the specific SVG file, PNG file or uh, draw IO file. Also, you can do that. For example, let's see, I'm just exporting in the .png file and it's asking where exactly you want to save it. For example, let's see, I really want to save it on my desktop. And let's see, I'm saying this is my test1.png file and then save it. Once it is saved, I'll just go to my desktop. I'll open it. So let's see desktop and test1.png. So this is how it will look like. So nice.
and then you can attach this diagram in the confluence page or you can share with anyone or in fact it's really good helpful uh, utility for the trainer and the student also to prepare the notes and everything in the real time along with your code you can just quickly design these uh, diagrams also while the practicing and everything if you really want to explore uh, export in um, svg also that also we can do it so you can just select the svg and you can embed with your uh, portal also or anywhere you can use it this entire diagram as an svg so let's say i'm writing with this test 2.svg and let's see again i'm going to save it on my uh, desktop and then you simply save it here let's go to desktop once again and uh, test 2.svg that will you can just open let's see in your favorite browser somewhere let's see i'm just opening in my um okay let's open in the safari browser so that you can just easily open with any browser or you can integrate with that and then you can just check it here like this just explore it this is simple extension and uh, download in your visual studio code it's absolutely free and uh, the rating is really high and uh, good reviews and really handy very sharp very fast and then uh, that's really good to go. You can explore more and more features available here. In fact, you can just work in the offline mode also. You can share with others and then two and three people also in the team, they can contribute for the same diagram. That also you can do it here.